Hey everyone, welcome to The Depot. My name is Brad and today I'm back with another Sims 4 build. And this time I decided to do a nightclub because I didn't really... It's not that I didn't like the one that came with The Sims 4 in Willow Creek. It's just that I figured it, it didn't fit with what I've experienced in real life. So I decided to change it and I did attempt to do it on the lot that it's currently on. But it didn't really work out that well because it's not... It's on the end so like has three faces to the building so it didn't really i couldn't think of something to put there so i decided to kind of renovate in a way the uh the gym which is like movers and shakers i'm sure everyone knows about it by now um <laughs> uh yeah and it kind of worked out really well because it's in the center of two buildings so it's kind of got like uh alleyways either way either side of it so i don't really have to decorate it like not decorate it but like you know i've never most nightclubs that i've been to have a literally in between buildings like there's no gaps like they're attached you know <laughs> that's the word i was looking for um so yeah i just decided to keep the building as well I'll keep this i don't know how you'd say it like the footprint of the building is like kind of similar but the overall aesthetic and the entire look of it completely changes <laughs> at the end like you've seen the, the preview and stuff like yeah um so basically I chose a black because I thought it would look best like against the greens and the brown brick. Like <laughs> I know you might think that doesn't make sense, but it did in my head anyway, so that's all that really mattered for me. And um oh, by the way, I did want to say that I know this is kinda of stupid and all I don't really care, but it's a big goal for me. Not a goal, like a moment I should say. Um I have two subscribers now. <laughs> I know that sounds like sweet, like F all to most people. But, like, I'm chuffed with that. Who cares? Um, I didn't necessarily do this to, like, you know, add a million or anything, you know? It's just, like, who cares? Um, sorry, I just wanted to address that. And I don't really know who they are because, like, it's on private or whatever. So I just know that I have them. So I guess that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, doing the downstairs, the ground floor plan, I think you call it. Yeah, most people would. Um... I wanted to do, that's the, the central part, it's kind of like where the staircase came. I wanted to keep it kind of like, not industrial, because it's not industrial by any means, but like you could kind of see that it was like extended upon and they reworked the floor plan just a little bit. I don't know, like I kept the main shape of the two buildings as if they were built as just boxes in a way. And then I kind of reworked the floor plan in between. That's the best way I can kind of describe it to you. Um... So yeah, and I kind of wanted to continue the black at the back as like a, I did want to put skylights in, but of course it didn't really fit in at all. So I just had to do it like, like originally, like I wanted to, like a greenhouse kind of thing, like a luck effect. And it did work out in the end because I used the windows from City Living that I did on the, uh, that are on the penthouse that I've already done a build on. Um, so I kind of do want to address the fact that I did kind of use a lot of colors and took a lot of style influence from a lot of places that I've been to and I kind of seen a repetitive um, colour schemes in <clears throat> like bars and nightclubs that I've been to in real life <laughs> so and I, I do like the look though you know it's like not I don't want to say industrial but you kind of see what I mean when I um put the furniture outside in the back like I do like a little patio area at the back because I didn't think I don't think any of the properties current properties oh my god lol the buildings or the lot um you'd they don't utilize the views that they have like they back onto um like a lake so i kind of figured like why wouldn't you utilize that you know especially as a entertainment venue so that's kind of what i wanted to achieve and that kind of goes back to what i mentioned with the original lot for the nightclub it's like it's gonna look really good when i turn it into a restaurant don't worry um but I'm going to do a completely different build for that, like, ground up, as opposed to, like, renovate in a current building. So I kind of could have... Sh Ugh. I should have called this a uh, a renovation video, but because I changed it 90% throughout, um, I kind of figured I'd call it a build, so... <laughs> and I did edit the footprint. Just kept, like, a corner of the original building, so that kind of makes sense for me. Um, and I wanted, like, a little pond, kind of... Not pond, like a little pool outside. Not a pool. How... Like, yeah, I kind of like a like a Japanese kind of thing, you know. I don't know what they're called, so I don't want to get it wrong. So I'm not gonna even try. But um, yeah. So that's why the brown, and I use brown in like the woods of the tables, and yeah, so I kind of bring it in that way in the chairs. And then I just use that slab because, as far as I'm concerned, it's the best for like a modern look. I'm probably 
annoying a lot of people by saying that, but sorry. <laughs> and obviously it's a nightclub, so I figured like a brushed um, metal floor and would kind of make sense because it's easy to clean. And I don't know if any of you have seen like a nightclub with the lights on, but like, oh my God. <laughs> I, I feel sorry for the people who clean nightclubs or bars or whatever, because <laughs> after like, what, a couple of hours, they're ruined. And like, especially on like Saturdays and Fridays, I think. I can imagine the floor being just like goop. <laughs> but yeah. Um so I wanted to do like a break up the wall in a way and I kind of saw this in um I think it's Andrew Arcade's video about and he's old as hell but whatever. Um the video is anyway. Um and he just like and he I think he got it from Delegacy, I'm not sure. But um just like it breaks up the wall and I kind of wanted to do it as like a feature of the staircase so that's what it was sorry I know we've moved on to the bathrooms but it was a point I wanted to make so <laughs> and by the way this uh like washed brick that I'm doing is kind of like the exact replica just a slightly different tinge of like color different to the one that comes with a uh, dino and I know this is like the old packs who cares but like <laughs> I just thought it was a bit like, really, are you kidding me? That's kind of like, if you're going to give me a new, like, wallpaper, can you at least make it worthwhile? Because there's quite a few that I want, and to be realistic, we've got quite a lot of bricks. Not for out outside the houses, but for, like, interior feature walls, I think we've definitely got enough. Um, possibly. I don't know. For me, anyway, I should say. Um, so for the bathrooms, I wanted to keep it quite modern, because, you know, it's a new build, and technically it's just been renovated, so it makes sense to keep it, like, modern inside. But, um, obviously bring in stuff that, like, is unconventional for, like, a high-class establishment, you know? Like, those lights are, like, technically quite industrial, but I think they look really nice in here because they've got, like, the super, super high ceiling, so it made sense to me. And then just dotting the outside with the spa day lights because I think they work well. They're the only kind of ones I know that do that kind of effect. I suppose you could find another way to do it, and if you do, please let me know because they're not that bright and it bugs the hell out of me. But I suppose it's a subdued light and the, just like a little bit more, like a little tiny touch and I'd be fine. <laughs> but um, then just adding in these strip lights because I think they look nice. And then I, I changed all, by the way, all the lights I do change the color, well most I change the color of except for the industrial ones in the bathroom and like the foyer of the bathrooms where the hand basins will be. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is kind of like the main dance floor area, as you can see, because I'm putting the dance floors in, and I wanted to do, like, obviously because I couldn't really work out how two big ones looked awful with a central thing, so I figured I'd do, like, a pattern on the floor and make it, like, feel like a huge dance floor, but it's only three little ones. And then I thought, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone do this, but they probably have, because <laughs> I think originality's gone now, everything's been done. But um, kind of like a... You know, like how some bars give you like a drink in like a jar. Well, I figured why not turn them into lights and dot them everywhere above a dance floor and then turn them all different colors because I thought it would be cute and I don't really care. It worked out nice, so and it made sense to me. So <laughs> I hope you guys like it. I did anyway. And then um, obviously making sure that the bathrooms are. I mean, technically it's like who cares? That's why I wanted to do the foyer, the, the, the hand basins kind of public because I hate when I go to a nightclub and I can't go into the toilet with my friends because like they take like twenty minutes and like. You don't actually go to the toilet though, you <laughs> just look in the mirror. So I wanted the toilets to be like different colors. So <clears throat> I decided to basically change up the, there's not much you could put in them because they're only like individual stalls in a way, but um, I put a little flower in there, a little towel, a hand towel anyway, and then just um, change the color in the plants to replicate the, t the colors of the lights when I change them. So that's what they're for anyway. And then just on the outside then putting in the obvious sink cabinets on one wall. And I wanted it to be like a big, there's only two sinks in each bathroom, but like, <laughs> what more do you need? There's like only like 12 sims come to like an establishment anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I thought the spa day mirrors would look best because once again, I think they're the most modern ones and I use them in most of my builds that I utilize the tiles from spa day in, which is kind of most of them because as far as I'm concerned, they're the nicest ones. But then again, I've only got a couple packs, but I took full advantage of the sale that's currently going on, I think. So I bought Dino and the Glamour Life stuff for that one light. But yeah, um, so put in like the two chairs because I th always think it's nice when uh, you're at like somewhere where they serve alcohol and they put chairs where you, in the toilets, because it's like, thank you so much. Like, you know, cause sometimes you have to wait, it's annoying. <laughs> you can see how much patience I have and that kind of shows as well in my legacy challenge. 
with Alexa because she bugs me, which is why I did not build this in her town because she does not deserve it. But I might put it there because, you know, if she ends up doing well, I'll, I'll let her go to a club that's actually nice. Um, so yeah, I kind of brought the mirror then behind the stack, not the mirror, the window behind the staircase because I thought it looked nice and it kind of, it does make, it makes sense because this isn't a bathroom per se, it's a washroom technically part, so it's not like pervy or anything to have a window. And yeah, it broke up the wall and gave it another texture, so I guess there's a couple of excuses that justify that for me, and that's a plus. <laughs> so then I wanted to have like a feature wall with like a huge portrait on it, and I chose like the obvious, like Marilyn Monroe, I'm supposed, I think that's who it's supposed to be. Um, and it means it's obvious, I think, personally, and then just plants on the wall down the hallway, I guess you could call it, yeah, I think so. Um, and I know I did kind of like separate the bathrooms to like... You know, I know what technically with like, some of the cl- uh, you can technically class it as gendered, but like, who cares? It adds like a touch, so I think that makes sense to me anyway, and everyone else who agrees. <laughs> um, so then, obviously, adding graphics to the walls. I didn't want to do pictures on the dance floor because I was like, they'll probably get knocked off realistically. So I did the little guitar things that I think come with Parenthood. Maybe I might be wrong. I'm not sure. And like the peach and the aqua colors and the white. And then I kind of did like a weird, I don't know, maybe you guys like it. I hope you do. I might do it in like a bedroom or something soon because I think it's quite cute. Um, Like a little devil and angel on the shoulders of people. And then a tree because, I don't know, you need to have something in the middle, like a landscape -y, So I think it's cool. <laughs> and I think you make a lot of choices in a nightclub to, like, you know, and who do you listen to kind of thing, especially when you've drunk. So... <laughs> Yeah, and then obvious TV wall, because I think everywhere I've been has, like, a form of TV walls, but they usually play a music video that isn't for the song that's playing. Or the amount of times I've been like, oh my god, I know, oh, never mind, because I'm not listening to you, it's just as a visual. So, yeah, that's just that little rant over with. Um, so putting in the speaker system for which, speaker system, I mean, just the ones on the wall that I chose pop for, because it's a nightclub, and I figured that most nightclubs just choose to play pop, because, obviously... It's the most popular, hence the term pop. But anyway, um, so putting in the lights, which I chose to do with the get together ones, because I think they're a little bit better for nightclubs, because I think they project on the floor, whereas I'm, I haven't tried the other ones, and I, they looked a bit like they just project against an object. So yeah, and it looks nice. Like you've probably seen them in the video in the beginning anyway. Um, and then another idea I got from Andrew Arcade, which was to put the pool, um, like steam and bubble things, in the nightclub i mean it does i know it's not a pool but it works and he explained it and he did it and it looked great so because we don't have the things that we had in the sims 3 which were the you know you could do sparklers or um you could do literally like eight options it was amazing so i hope they bring those back eventually and then just putting in the karaoke stand but like the big big proper one uh into the bottom of the staircase slash foyer cutout thing that i got going on just because there's something to do. And this, I didn't know what I was thinking. I just thought maybe they could have a game in the nightclub as like a, while you're waiting to get in or something, even though you're already in. Um, but no, I just got rid of it and decided to keep it there because I think that acid wash brick being exposed is important to keep the aesthetic, you know, all the way throughout the building. So I just chose to put like coffee tables here. So like, you know, imagine that they're like watching the singer or <laughs> the person who got drunk enough to try and sing. And then just a little part put in the corner just to dress it up. And then I think I chose one of the City 11 pictures to put here. Like, the, yeah, the koi ones. Nice. Just to bring the orange across from the other wall with the guitars. I mean, it's peach technically, but who cares? Um, so now moving on to the feature light that I have. Uh, I decided to make it myself because there wasn't one that I thought was big enough or fit properly enough. So I chose these, like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, balloon lights. I don't, I don't know. People are just like, they're lights, chill. <laughs> but um, I think it looks nice in the end, so I chose three different colour options and different sizes, just to make it seem like an assorted chandelier of some sort, and then just repeating the coffee tables upstairs, because, like, you know, there's not much you can do to utilise this space. Plus, bars and nightclubs do have booths and coffee tables, but unfortunately the booths from Dine Out were restaurant booths, not nightclub booths, so they didn't look perfect. And then obviously just bringing the grey up, because I was like, oh, haha, <laughs> forgot to do upstairs. And obviously a little part downstairs that I did mention earlier, but I'll fix it, I promise, don't worry. Um, and then this was the only ch room that I chose to do um, the white paint in, because I figured the employee, like, you know, change of shift slash behind the scenes part wouldn't be 
the same as the rest of the um, building. So that, and there's a kind of, kind of like another employee nook over there, but like a quick one, which I do finish a little bit later. And it kind of looks uh, like it is one <laughs> as best as I could, you know, because we don't actually have like service nook items, I don't think. And then just a billboard on the side, because I think, you know, most uh, like commercial businesses and places and venues, they do advertise if they're big enough with things on the side. So yeah, well, at least I know they do, because I think my nan, when on her shop, she rents a billboard. Like, not rents, but she gets paid because of the bill. I don't know how it works. I didn't really, I never really asked. My dad told me once, like, a couple years ago, and I'm just bringing it up, because it's in context. So yeah, doing the, bringing the lights that I did downstairs, just on top of the bar in, like, a three. I mean, I loved, would have loved them to be different heights, but, um, you know, there's only two heights for those, like, super short or super long, so... And then adding in these, I decided to go for an orange just to warm up the uh, top floor because it's quite dark up here. But actually, I think bar the outside part, it is my favourite part of the club. I mean, downstairs is great, don't get me wrong. But in terms of what I'm like in a in a nightclub bar, I wouldn't be downstairs. I, I uh, Honestly, I'd be outside in this build, to be completely honest with you. Just like straight outside. Because um, it's the nicest part, I think. For me, personally, anyway. Um, and because you get a view. But yeah, putting in the jazz pictures because I thought they flowed perfectly because the chairs brings in a pink and then, you know, there's a blue and orange. It's kind of like a rainbow theme I got going on. So, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to originally do like a blue and like, you know, but it just morphed into rainbow, which, you know, who cares? It was Pride Month last month. So, <laughs> I mean, appropriate or what? So yeah, just neon signs above the, like I figured you'd put like a little fridgy things there, you know, because some people are like, hey, do you have like a vitamin water? <laughs> and it's like, this is a bar, hun, leave. But no. Um, and then like, you know, the little rainbow hearts, which by the way, if you ever build like a gay club in The Sims 4, I mean, it would be no different to like a straight bar, realistically. It's The Sims, it's not that in depth. But um, those would make a good little sign, like where I put the birds outside. I don't think I've done that yet, but where I do put them on the uh, sign outside. Uh, yeah. You could replace it with those little hearts and it would look really, really cute. Just FYI. <laughs> um, and then just doing like a little smoking area over here. Not smoking area, like a, a, I don't know what it's called, shisha, hooker, I'm not sure. I totally got that last one wrong and please don't crucify me for that. Um, so then just repeating the, uh, I don't know why, I've never used that rug before, but I thought it fit in really, really well because the colour of the chairs that I put in kind of brings out those colours. Plus it kind of matches the chairs for the little coffee table things like this. they're not coffee tables at all they're just like mini little tiny tables but what else <laughs> um and then just the little beads above the windows because i thought like this corner would be really vibey <laughs> that's not even a word but i think i'm going to use it because it's kind of what i wanted it to be like a vibey place you know sims get dazed there <laughs> p.s i only figured out what that was in my <laughs> like a fresh start let's play part like two i guess um, and then, yeah, just a tree, which I changed to the red lights because it kind of incorporated another colour. And I was like, hey, hey, rainbows for everyone. So, yeah. Um, then just, I was not, oh my god, no. Thank god. Just, you know, just a simple, like, I wanted something in the corner, but I don't know. I'm happy with that. I know it's boring and simple, but it just needed a little dress up there. And obviously it's a nightclub, so you don't want to overdress too much because, of course, it's meant to be rammed with people and you kind of leave space for people because that's where your money's at. Not in furnishings but then again this is the sims so let's not take it too literal and then this is what i meant by like furnishing the thing i'm not really sure what's in that box but i was like eh, it looks kind of like something that you'd have i don't know in a service area and then just plates and stuff because i don't know maybe they sell like scones or i don't know i've never been to a nightclub that sells scones um i don't know sometimes they have like tapas or something who knows and then just a plant and a a VIP bucket because that makes total sense in a nightclub because people do although I will say for nightclubs what is it with you like taking like a like a normal $30 bottle of champagne and dollar pound oh my god awful and you know turning it into like what 110 it's like I get it I'm buying it from a nightclub but why does it justify being <laughs> like a 300% markup <laughs> even though that's possible in the sims oh my god it makes sense I used to think why would that be such a possible like mark up to sell items or food and it's like no no that's what they do in real life <laughs> they screw you over there not just the sims so yeah and then like just you know imagine like they have uniforms of some kind or you know you hang up your jacket because i think most people do that in a job that involves service like a waiter or a bar staff you know you change you don't have like a you have a uniform or at least like 
you know, come in in black trousers with a white shirt or something like that. And then a coffee maker because, you know, everyone in work drinks coffee practically because it's like, I'm tired. Um, and then, yeah, cups because, <laughs> you know, staff aren't allowed to use the glasses for the guests. No, I'm joking, totally, don't worry. Um, so yeah, moving on to the outside, which is totally my favourite part, just because, I don't know, like I said, it's where I'd be. Like, genuinely, it's just so much... I don't know, I like to be outside. It's like that, I really do that. Any, like, I don't go to places that only have inside options. I mean, I used to, but now I don't. I suppose that's because I'm getting older and I'm getting boring. But who cares? Um, I'm 21, lol. <laughs> As if that... Whatever. Um, so then doing a rack of drinks, which I realise is totally too much. I think mm, sooner rather than later? I'm not sure. I hope so. That's because when I try and put the plants in that I do put at the sides, it's just like, whoa, that's um, not as close as I thought they'd be. And then, yeah. <laughs> so just decorating the bar up because I wanted to use the stools, like those little bullet ones, corky things, because they fit really well. And just FYI with my restaurant build that I'll probably be doing within the next like week or so probably sooner um i'll probably be using a lot like this kind of a color scheme outside as well just because i think it works really well against like a water front backdrop mm, yeah <laughs> that makes sense and just it's a little bit quirky so yeah and then just a stool vision over here because like at the end of the day it's like you know you've got to look over a hedge to look at the view kind of it's not like it's, uh, you're not like on the front you're just like set back a bit so that's what that section's for. And then, like, a comedy thing, because I figured that's what the people on the little, like, the dining tables can do. Like, watch the comic or something when he's performing. Or, what is it? Is it performing? Do comics perform, or do they... I don't know. So, yeah. Oh, and this is the part I mentioned with the plant. See, it just looks like, whoa. <laughs> Why, what's going on? But, no. <laughs> I fixed it. And it looks really, really nice. So that's the outside done, except for I do do a little shrubbery in the corner, but I didn't do it on camera, so my bad. And now just putting in a little feet more of the, like, you know, bubbles, smoke machine things, just to make the nightlife, nightclub more, I don't know, nighty? I don't know. And then, of course, I'm moving on to the frontage because I haven't done a sign or anything, and I didn't want to do it above the entryway. I wanted to do it literally in the, like, arch of the roof of the new building I've got going on. Just FYI, I totally did air quotes when I said that. Um, and then it took me a while to, like, find the <laughs> uh, little beard things. Because it's kind of like a little, you know, like on Grey Goose, they have the um, swan, I think it is. Or goose, I should. Oh, my God, I'm so, I, I said swan. Oh, never mind. Ugh. So, yeah, just moving on to the shrubbery now, which I kind of wanted to incorporate in this build. Just because, I know it's modern, I know it's literally on, like, a concrete frontage, but, like, I wanted to incorporate some greens just to break it up and make it look a bit more natural. So yeah, that's what exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> and um, what do I do? Oh yeah, of course, I do it on the top as well, on the uh, balcony above. Hence why I did obviously a green thing. And just like in my uh, penthouse build, I think it was. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, you can't do... Oh my god, I wonder if you could do it on this because it's not a apartment block. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. I wonder if you can spray paint on those tiles. No, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> oh, I got really hopeful there and thought like, oh my god, I've, I've finished. I'm done. I'm done. I can do green roofs. But like, I very much doubt. So obviously I'm going to be doing this on the back balcony slash greenery thing I got going on on the extension as well. But um, So you'll just see that now. But unfortunately we're coming to the end of the video, guys. So... If you do want to download the build, it is on the gallery under my name, The Sim Depot, which uh, has changed, as I mentioned before. Who cares? <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, you guys. I do appreciate it. And I'll leave you with a video clip of the final club with the lights changed. <laughs> Bye.